We're going to talk about three things to focus on this week to help you get to your happy, healthy weight without doing any of those diets like Noom, Weight Watchers, intermittent fasting, keto, you know the score. You do not need to do that to lose weight and get your happy, healthy weight. Stick with me. I'll show you how. So first, let's do a little quick exercise, all right? Think about how many times you've dieted, how many times you've lost weight, and how many times have you gained it back? And just take a good look at that number, all right? And then say to yourself, what I'm doing isn't working, all right? The only reason that you think it's working is because so much money is spent promoting diet behavior, okay? But just say, okay, what I'm doing is not working. And then say to yourself, okay, am I really ready to try something else, to consider something else? Because what I'm doing is not working. This is a big, sounds kind of simple, but you got to get here to that moment where you go, yeah, this isn't working. I need something different. It's, and it can be hard because if you're like me, I mean, I spent so much money, effort, time on dieting over a, a many, many years that, you know, admitting that what I was doing was wrong. I mean, that's hard, but as soon as you do, you're on your way to a better life, especially around food and eating. Um, so just, just get to that point where you're like, yes, I've been doing this wrong. I'm going to just forgive myself or whatever. I'm just going to know, okay, at least I'm coming to this realization now and it's never too late. So then say, okay, how am I going to, what am I going to do? How am I going to stop dieting? What am I going to do instead? And I'm going to show you what to do instead. Okay. And again, no matter what kind of diet behavior you've done in the past, you know, the story, short-term weight loss, long-term, you gain it back or even short-term you gain it back. So that's not working. I know I'm being redundant, but I want you to feel this in your bones. That doesn't work. So come over here. What else can you possibly do to lose weight? We have to eat less to lose weight. It's how you do it. And the dieting world combats your body. It's a war. And what I'm going to suggest to you is in harmony with your body. And God, even if I, even as, even as I say that I feel myself relaxing, cause it is, it's in harmony and peace with your body. So I call it building your healthy thin mentality. You guys have been with me for a while. Hang in there while I repeat this. It is a kind of intuitive eating because it's based on biological cues, but it also is coupled with the goal of getting to your happy, healthy weight, which is legit. It is in, you know, some people think intuitive eating is just about giving up and accepting yourself being overweight, which anyone can do that. But if you don't want to, I'm here for you with, in, with building your healthy thin mentality as a form of intuitive eating. All right. So this week, I want three things you can do to really get, even if you've been doing this for a while, to keep strengthening your journey, your transformation from a diet mentality to a healthy, thin mentality, from restriction and stress to freedom with food and eating and respect for your own body and feeling much more empowered. And honestly, friends, you know, if you have a screwed up relationship with food and eating, it is a huge part of your life because it's something we have to do. You can't ignore that. And when, when you're constantly second guessing yourself and having insecurities about that, that affects you so deeply. So building your healthy thin mentality permeates your life in a very positive way. It makes you feel stronger, more confident and better. And I'm telling you like it is, it's true. This is what it helps people with, with eating and then feeling more powerful around food and eating. And then also you bring that into your life. So there's th three things I want you to focus on this week. And the first one is hunger. All right. So if you, and I get so many comments, especially on TikTok, people saying, you know, I don't even know when I'm hungry anymore. And it's hard because it, that's a, a long answer. So I'm glad to have you guys here to explain this to you, how you get your hunger back. Um, so let's say you're, you're new at this, or you've been doing this and you're sh still not sure about your hunger. Just throughout the day, make a conscious effort, you know, put an um, alarm on your phone or whatever to just stop no matter, you know, whether you're feeling actively feeling hunger or not, just, just put an alarm on. Okay. Okay. Here I am. My alarm just went off. I'm just evaluating my hunger at this point in my life. So it's just, it's a, it's a moment of reflection and saying, okay, okay. I'm just, the alarm went off just so I could say, what does hunger feel like right now? Do I have any? Is it quiet? Am I really hungry? Just to get used to you noting how your body feels. And we've lost that, you guys. So many people 
don't know how hunger feels, don't, don't know how satiety feels, don't know any of that. So what you're going to do is actively engage with that. Even when you're not even considering food, it's not where near, you're not about to eat, but you're just going to sit there and go, what do I feel? And you're going to notice over time when you, you do this, you know, do this for this week, you know, every day, several times a day. What does this feel like? How am I feeling? Just track it. See, what you're going to notice, everyone's going to notice different things, but like one really cool thing that I noticed, which I did not know I was going to notice is a long time ago, is that hunger isn't a straight line. That sometimes you'll feel hungry and you go, oh God, I better eat now, but it goes away. And I don't know why, and I don't care. I don't worry about that. I just worry about how I react to it. Now, since I know hunger isn't a straight line, if I get a hunger signal, I don't panic because I'm like, eh, yeah, I, I hear some hunger knocking, you know, okay. I might need to take care of that soon, but I, I can tell I've been paying attention to myself. So this isn't an emergency. I mean, I'm kind of excited because I, if I'm getting this hunger feeling, even though it's maybe not strong and consistent right now, it's going to be soon and I'm going to get to eat. So yeah, you, you get happy about that. You embrace it. You're like, yay. All right. So, you know, um, you, you need to be your own detective and you guys, there's resources on the website to help you do this. Okay. Just got to say that. Um, so you can learn how to, to do this for yourself. And you can say, okay, when I felt like that, I ate that or I didn't eat that. And the result was this. You get to know yourself. And we do have to go through this again because the diet industry has knocked this out of us and we have to get it back. So you have to actively get it back by doing these little things. So when you, when you have reacquainted yourself with the different kinds of hunger that you have throughout the day, it, you are on your way. It's an essential skill to building your healthy thin mentality. You cannot be unaware of your hunger with your healthy thin mentality. And I know you guys, if you hear me talk about hunger and that worries you, it is beautiful to get hungry and to know what your hunger feels like and to, uh, you know, figure out how much food you think you might need. Cause you know, things like it gets annoying if you never know how much hunger you're going to have. So you don't know how much food you're going to get yourself. I mean, that sounds so simple. But you need to reacquaint yourself with this. And it, it gets to be a very joyful, beautiful experience when you feel hunger. You know how to handle it. And it's not stressful. And it's very satisfying. Okay? So just keep that in mind. So do that many, many times this week. Another thing, this is kind of a very practical thing. Have foods that you love available to you. And yeah, let's go with this with some gratitude. Okay. So I hope that everyone watching this can do this, you know, um, it's important. It doesn't have to be expensive, fancy foods, but like I notice that I keep a certain, um, array of food available to me because it's just stuff I know I like. Um, I'm going to say some things, but these are not things that you should put in your refrigerator. It's stuff that I do because it's what I like. And, um, I'm, I, make sure I have like a variety of foods because sometimes, you know, if you only have kind of one thing in your fridge or whatever, if you're just, you know, don't have a lot of food at your house or whatever, you're, you know, in a, I don't know, a small apartment with a little refrigerator or whatever, you know, if you can just give yourself some options because that helps you get in touch with what your cravings are. That's what I'm trying to get to. So like for me, um, I always generally have in my refrigerator, I always have like chicken and cheese and hard boiled eggs and I love spinach salad and, um, blackberries. I mean, I just have these things because I know that from experience, cause I've been doing this a long time, but you'll get this way too. It doesn't take long to get this part down when you figure out what your cravings are. So you like open your refrigerator or whatever, and you use your eyes, you use all your senses to go, okay, what is my body directing me towards? And at first you might not be good at this. So you're going to take a bite. You're going to have a black bear. And you go, yeah, that's, that's not doing it for me. You're going to have a bite of chicken. You're going to go, yeah, it's okay. Then you're going to have some cheese. And you're going to go, wow, that tastes great. And that way, when you do that over and over again, and you know, I know in the beginning it's maybe a little inconvenient just to have all these foods and just take one little bite and then put it back. Okay, well, tough. <laughs> because you got to go through this. And it's not a bad experience, okay? So you you do that and you, you start associating. When I feel like this... I'm generally craving this and you get really good at knowing what you want. You just, and that's really important. And you know, it's like, it's, it's such a basic concept, but again, because the diet industry pummels us with diet messaging, we just shut that off. And the minute you go on your first diet, you learn very quickly to shut off your cravings because you have to, because you're not allowed to answer them. So you shut them off. We're getting them back. We're bringing them back. And that's really important. Okay. So we've got the 
constantly thinking about your hunger. And so just getting to know it, getting the food that's available to you. So you give yourself a chance to learn what your cravings feel like. And then this is a very important one. As you're going through this, keep reminding yourself that you are not suffering. Okay, this is a big one. Again, this also brings gratitude into it, but it's more than that. It's because you as a dieter, and my message is for dieters, people who've dieted themselves heavier and heavier over time or just dieted constantly and never at their happy weight or always struggling to stay there. These are my peeps, okay? I'm talking to you. So um, you're used to like having like food and issues be kind of, suffering is a strong word, but you know, kind of not joyful not satisfying, not good. And so what we had to remind yourself when we're doing this, making that transition from healthy, from diet mentality, sorry, to healthy, thin mentality, you are not suffering and you will, you will learn through, through sticking with this, that eating without hunger, eating without hunger is a habit and it's a habit that doesn't serve you. And, but it's, it's a, easier thing to break than you think because it's not matched with your biology. Okay. So let's say, you know, if you, um, had like a scratch on your arm and it really was itchy, but you couldn't scratch it. Okay. That's kind of, that's suffering mildly, right? Very mildly. But so you learn when you have a healthy thin mentality that if it's, if you, if, if you don't have a scratch, I'm sorry, I'm trying to give you a decent analogy. When it's not itchy and you don't have to scratch it and you don't scratch it, that's fine, right? So it's like when you're not hungry and you don't eat, that's fine. You calm down and you realize, yeah, well, I'm not eating. Oh, you really wish I could eat. Okay, you're going to eat when you're hungry. Just keep matching it up, matching it up. And I promise, I, you're not going to, you guys are not going to believe me, but over time, you will refuse to eat without hunger because you're going to go, why would I do that? I didn't believe that either. And I think I say this like every week because I, I remember it so well, even though it was 22 years ago, I remember beginning this and going, I'm just always going to want to eat. The reason you think that about yourself is because your all your diet behavior has freaked out your poor body. You calm that down. You always eat when you're hungry. Eating without hunger is, I, why would I do that? You will get there. And when you have that light bulb moment, when someone puts something in front of you at a party or at your house, whatever, and you know, your previous habit would be, oh, I'm going to eat that. You'll go, okay, but I'm not hungry. So what is that for me? That doesn't do anything for me because I'm not hungry. And yes, friends, food will always be a little bit tasty, even without hunger. I mean, but it pales in comparison to when you eat with hunger. It really does. So you know, you being a happy, healthy weight and enjoying food way more, way more than you did when you weren't your happy, healthy weight is the reality that you're looking for. And pe- people with healthy, thin mentalities love food and eating. It's not, you know, being prissy or just not eating. It's not like that. It's loving food so much that you refuse to eat without hunger. Okay. I hope this is helpful for you guys this week. Um, stick with me. I am going to be here. Please come over onto TikTok because I'm there a lot because it's super easy to post there. Um, our our uh, private Facebook group, our website has help for you to, with lots of real specifics like this to get you on that path towards your healthy thin mentality, which you 100% deserve and 100% can do. If I can do it, you can do it, okay? Please like, share, subscribe, help me get that message out there. That would be a gift to me and to others I would really appreciate. So have a great week. Keep these things in your head all week, okay? I'll talk to you soon.